everybody! So today I got to see the latest film from Disney Pixar, and it's Toy Story 4. And I had had some reservations about this movie. Of course, we all loved the ending to Toy Story 3, how emotional it was, and such a it seemed like such a great uh, closure for the family. And that's a real emphasis of that movie. So we thought, oh, are they? is this just a cash grab? Or do they really have another story? Like, they promised us they wouldn't do another one unless they had a story. And uh, so I was kind of nervous. And then the first trailer came out. And I didn't love Forky. I just thought it was weird. And I didn't understand it. And so I went into this with some reservations. I read the novelization, which you can see my review on this channel. And it was really fun. And so that gave me some new confidence. I was a little uh, nervous because I didn't feel the emotion in the novelization but I have to say I went to see it today and I thought it was delightful I really enjoyed it and it, it's I think it needed to exist and I think what it particularly does that's so strong is that it finishes sort of the hero's journey for Woody and it really makes him a more complex interesting character whereas the third one was kind of about finishing the story for the family and also for uh, Andy more than for Woody himself and so this kind of takes that second level and 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 finishes this the, the journey for Woody like I said and and so uh, so this kind of takes it to that second level and one of the strengths of this movie is that it is really funny I laughed from every character had jokes every character had jokes that landed uh, I think that uh, Keegan-Michael Key and Jordan Peele as Ducky and Bunny were the funniest and their jokes were really worked and had me in stitches and they've been in a ton of animated films and so I wasn't sure if I would like them because they've been a bit hit and miss for me in animation but they totally worked in this one. I thought that it was hilarious. And and I thought that uh, Keanu Reeves' character, the Duke uh, Kaboom, I thought he was really funny. And they work in, he's from Canada. He's like a evil Knievel from Canada. So they work in a lot of kind of funny riffs and jokes about Canada. And uh, there were jokes, like I said, from every character. I also appreciated that the villain character didn't go exactly the way I thought it was going to go. It was a little bit more creative than that. And so I, pr I thought that was pretty good. There are some scary sequences with the dummies, uh, that uh, the Ventura Quist dummies that, that might scare real little kids, but this is less scarier, I think, than Toy Story 3. So if your kids can handle that, then they probably can handle this just fine. And Bonnie ends up creating this, this toy named Forky because she's sad. And the movie gets really into sort of what makes us happy, what makes us human, what, what makes us feel, it kind of takes the existential crisis that Woody has in uh, Toy Story 2 about whether, how does he want to live his life? And it amplifies it to the next level. And so it's asking a lot of questions about kind of what it means to be sentient, what it means to be, uh, to live a good life and how it kind of questions what loyalty really means and if loyalty matters at the expense of self will and who we are like do we what how does that all work i don't know it's it's really interesting and i'm definitely going to keep thinking about it for a long time and i i, I thought that forky actually ended up being a really sweet character and it worked for he worked for me i think they use him just enough like he's not in the movie like tons i i felt like he was just really sweet and gave Woody motivation because he loves Bonnie and wants to help Bonnie. And then you have Bo Peep who is back and uh, she has chosen a different way to live. And so that's sort of a challenge for Woody. And, uh, and I thought that she was really good. I, you know, Annie Potts did a great job with the voice and I loved the animation. Uh, the animation in the movie is just incredible throughout the, the colors, the lighting. I loved how just there, her ceramic, it really felt like she was ceramic, the way that the light uh, reflected off of her face. And uh, it's definitely the best animation of any of the Toy Story movies, no question. It felt like a sense of closure for each character and their character arc. And it felt like they had really grown and I, I, it just worked for me. I really, I really enjoyed it. It has some action, it has some exciting parts. I was never bored. And the music by Randy Newman was great. And so all those things made it definitely my favorite animated film so far this year. And uh, we'll see if Frozen 2 can beat it. But I think even people that had those reservations will go into it and will leave really pleased because 
I, I just thought it had everything you could want. It was funny. It was heartfelt. It had beautiful animation. It uh, it had interesting ideas for our characters. They grew. It wasn't entirely predictable, in my opinion. And so it's a great movie. I think you all will really like it. And so let me know what you think when you get to see it. And I would just be curious to have the discussion because I, I think it's it's just a very interesting movie. And I look forward to writing my spoiler review over on my blog. Make sure you're subscribed to my blog at rachelsreviews.net because a lot of times I'll post my new reviews over there. So check that out. And if you're interested, become a patron of the channel and supporting what we do. Uh, you can be a part of our face secret Facebook group where we talk about uh, not just Hallmark movies, but all different kinds of movies. And we'll definitely be talking to our story for. So that will be really fun. And uh, so check that out. And also uh, we have merch stores where you can get a smiling and frown worthy uh, shirt uh, inspired by my channel. So check that out. And I uh, really appreciate all your support. And so yeah, Toy Story 4. I definitely, I give it smile worthy and I'd probably give it a nine out of 10. I really enjoyed it. So thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>